So if you have been really thinking about getting yourself a portable washing machine, maybe you are inside of an apartment, you travel a lot from hotel to hotel and Airbnb, and not all of them actually provide a way to wash your clothes besides you doing the manual labor of using the tub or the sink, scrubbing, 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 and wringing it out. I wanted to actually see how these things work, so I want to demonstrate to you one of these portable and foldable washing machines now one of the things that really intrigued me about this one is that you can actually push this down to make it into this compact size you see here most washing machines that are portable are really bulky take up a lot of space and it's just not doable for people who may have little space want to travel with it and so forth also one of the biggest things that i really do love is that these two pieces right here is to actually make the spin basket because again many of these washing machines that are portable do not have a way for your clothes to be spin dried you have to just push a button or twist a knob let the water drain out and then you go right ahead and wring it out now of course if you buy one that has the washing the washing machine and the spinner together but we're talking about portable so for this one actually has this mechanism to allow it to spin the water out of the actual clothes you also receive this tube here which allows you to fill up the water and on the side here it is a way for you to help navigate the water out when you are indeed draining it so inside take this lid off very simple and easy this is the part that goes inside of that spinner to help the clothes stay inside while it is indeed rotating around you also receive the user manual and another piece to help you set up the actual spinner itself now you may be wondering well how do you open this thing very simple and easy this is how it looks in the top part and the actual cord is tucked away right in the bottom. Again, so convenient, no cord just being all over the place in the way, right? So what you wanna do is lift this up here, use your hand, push down while lifting up with the cord. I find it's best to do it at an angle. And look at that. Look how big this got this is a really big size okay so when you are assembling this the first thing you want to do is realize that there are little spaces here along the base part and this is where you will get the actual crate or whatever you want to call this these have little nudges on the outside this is where the nudges and this hole will meet the only thing is on the first two sheets at the very end you have two nudges these will actually meet up and connect inside of one of these so you literally have to give it space and then connect both of these inside of one so that it can turn it and make it into the circle so for example I'm going to put this right inside and all you're doing is pushing it right down inside and you hear the click now I'm going to get the other one can actually slide put this right there as well and there's the clip so now I'm just going to go around and push everything in and you can hear the clicks as you go to make sure they actually secure All right, now this is what, this is how it will look and it will look flimsy because you have to put the top part on. And again, you have these same notches that you're going to insert from the top part to make everything secure. There we go. Put that one in, this one in, put that one in. And all I'm doing is just finding the hole, using my finger to glide this up inside of here and it's snap right into place. Now everything, as you can see, is protruding through the holes and snapped into place. So this, as you can see, is very secure now, very secure. And this is how you wanna actually do it so that it can actually stay together while it's spinning. 
and to take it apart, you will simply push this in and then lift this part up, just like that. So push this in, lift this part up. Push this in, lift this part up. Same all the way around. And there you have it. Now the bottom part is a little tricky, but I feel that what I have done works is pretty much holding the base part here, taking your hand with this one and just pushing it down like that. And what you're doing is you are pushing this in to allow this piece to un to allow this piece inside to unconnect and it comes right out. Oh, I connected it back. <laughs> And there we have it. Now I'm going to put this piece back in, throw in some water, throw in my clothes, a little detergent. And so we're going to get this washing process started. So you can see, very simple, just going to line up. And it's inside. Now I'm going to actually put in my clothes first to make sure that I have enough water for them. So I have a large size t-shirt, a hand towel, my son's sweatpants, he's a toddler, and I have some of pants of mine I like to lounge around in. So this is how much space is inside of there. You don't want to overcrowd it just to make sure the water is moving around to get all the dirt and stuff out. Now I will be using a little bit of Perel. So what I have is two one gallons of water. Hopefully that'll be enough. I'm going to need one more, probably like a half a gallon, as it's not really covering the clothes. It's just like right at the brim of the clothes. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in here, and then I'm going to automatically just put my detergent in there now. Because this is a smaller tub, you don't need to use a full cap as you normally would for a washing machine. You only need to use maybe like a tablespoon, if that much, um, to get your clothes clean. So I'm just going to pour a little dab in and that's it then I'm going to add a little bit more water and then turn this on and let you see what it looks like as it's actually washing my clothes and this is what it looks like and how much water compared to the clothes as you can see it is a lot of water but there is a lot of space for everything to move around inside the tub while it is indeed washing. If you do have clothes all the way to the top, you may not get a perfect wash because the water will indeed come out. So you have to make sure you remember the water is going to splash and move all around. And this lid does not have any sort of rubber around it to actually keep all the water inside. So you could think about getting something for that so that when you do place it down, the water will stay inside. You want to also make sure this plug is indeed in nice and tight. You don't want any water to mistakenly come out and run all over your floor or wherever you have this. And now I'm just going to go right ahead and turn this on. So I am going to give it, I'm going to say four minutes.
and you can hear it running. The timer is going down and this is what it looks like. I have it on a wobbly table so this probably wasn't the best idea but hopefully it works out but so far no leaks or anything like that let's look on the inside water is splashing but it looks like it's doing a good job I'm like really impressed all right I'm gonna close this up now <laughs> all right so the four minutes is up so now we're gonna see what my clothes look like water should hopefully be nice and dirty which should be awesome so it does look a little darker which is awesome which means it did actually clean them so now since this is something you actually have to drain from right here, what I'm going to do is use the bucket that I used to fill this up with to catch the water on the side. Came out really, really fast. But you have to make sure you have enough space. Remember, I only had two gallons of these. So now I'm going to get the other one and fill it up again. All right, now it's down to a dribble. And then I'm going to put the wet clothes in this one, assemble the basket, and start the spin. All right, so the basket is indeed installed. So now I'm just going to transport my wet clothes into the basket. I'm not going to overfill it, so I'm just going to put these two in there. It's really a small basket, so if you have a big thing of laundry, you're not going to be able to get a lot of things spun, um, well, wrung out at one time. So I already have it plugged in, so now we're going to put it on spin, which... Again, I have it on a wobbly table, but it's coming out. And this is what it looks like inside. literally put this on a on a solid surface but I didn't so yeah it's working though so I got it on a more stable table it does a little dance but I mean again it's a small compact thing so I expect it to be moving some it's not annoying and it's still draining out into my little bucket right here I mean my little um, container right here and again how it looks on the inside Now let's check out how dry my clothes are. Oh wow, I can feel a difference. It really does work. Like, look at that. It is no water in here at all. I have a dryer upstairs so I can throw these right in the dryer, but this is amazing. Even my son's sweatpants. Wow. This is really good, guys. All right, so two articles down, two to go. But let's put this hand towel inside so you can get an idea about if you wanted to wash your towels. All right, the moment of truth. Let's check out how dry this hand towel is. And this large, oh my goodness, I can already feel the difference. This could go maybe a couple more, I only did it about two minutes, but it's really wrung out versus being dripping wet. This shirt is indeed wrung out. Wow, this is really, this is a really good machine. I have the link for this in my description, this exact one, as well as some other ones that are also available on Amazon. But this 
is really really good now this like I said can go a little bit longer you can see the water still in there so this can go by itself to really get it spin on but yeah this is a great option for renters again someone's going on vacation always in hotels so yeah check this out I would recommend this to someone aside from my hiccups with not putting it on a solid foundation so if you are putting this on your countertop and draining it inside of your sink you will not have any kind of issues this lid does wobble which gives the noise so you can actually put something on top of it or find a way to secure it down a little better so that noise will not be rattling as it is indeed spinning as you saw this spinner does work I had towel I had hand towel in here I had some clothes in here it did not come apart and it wrung those things out perfectly this is a great option for renters again anyone who's looking for something that's portable and right now since I'm done I'm just going to go right ahead and smush it down and that's it for today so I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to get more of my review videos on products Recommend a friend for this product. Again, the link is in my description. Thanks for watching.